When asked about coding experience, 37% of my viewers said they'd like to learn programming. If you're part of the 37%, then you've come to the right place. Even better if you'd like to learn it fast. The truth is that coding has changed my life, and I'd like that for you as well. It's given me a better job, something to do for fun, and a second income from this YouTube channel. In the next few minutes, I'll show you what I would do to learn programming in the fastest way possible. Now I've been programming in some way for over a decade or so, starting with making Minecraft mods when I was in my early teens. After that, I slowly became a better programmer, learning a few things here and there over the years. But it wasn't until the summer of 2023 that I made massive progress with my programming skills. During just two short months, I learned more than I learned in the two years before. How did this happen? By programming every single day. And not even a little bit either. What happened was that I accepted a full-time job as a C++ developer, a programming language I had never ever touched before. Monday through Friday, eight hours per day, were spent learning and applying both high-level and crucially low low level concepts. It takes many years to become a professional developer. I'll humble myself and say I'm not anywhere near that yet. But if you're someone who'd like to learn programming, then I'm one step ahead of you and can act as a guide rather than a guru. So if you're serious about becoming a programmer, then click the subscribe button. Anyway, in a single day at that job, I'd learned so many new things that the code I wrote in the morning would be obsolete by the evening. It's no secret that the things we do every day, we end up doing a lot of. If you start coding for 10 hours per day, 5 days a week, then you'd be doing it for 200 hours per month. And you'd be a junior developer within a couple months. Now you don't have to be that extreme, but if you're serious about learning programming, then you must put in the time. There are no shortcuts. Becoming a programmer doesn't just happen, it's a process. And I'm not suggesting that you code for 10 hours every day. I mean, you can if you want to, but instead I recommend you code for one hour per day, every single day for the rest of your life. Now you'll naturally miss some days here and there, of course, but it's a solid goal and you should be able to complete most days. If you manage to do an hour per day, you'll be a coder within a week and a good coder within a few months. The more you code, the better you'll become. Now it may sound boring, but if you're not excited by the idea of coding every day, then programming might not be for you. The only way to become a coder is by practicing coding. Now for one of the most common mistakes I see beginners make. Can you guess what it is? Spending too much time studying programming instead of doing programming. Just as a musician must practice their instrument, programmers must write code. There is no way around it. When I was a beginner, I would get stuck reading about programming all the time. So if you're diving into this, you will at some point end up facing the same problem. So consider this a warning to not spend too much time reading and instead learn by doing. Your first program doesn't have to be the next Minecraft. A simple hello world is a great first step. My first proper program was a text adventure game. Here's what that looked like by the way. So it doesn't have to be so complicated. The most important thing is that you go make something and the process will teach you more about programming than any video or tutorial or book can. I'm not saying to never study programming. Of course it's a necessary thing to do. Just be mindful with it so you don't end up doing that all day. And here are some ideas for beginner friendly programs you can create. After watching this video, pick one and get started. Read what you need and then go learn by doing. Now I could have left you there, but to actually make it easier for you to get started, I'll help you pick a programming language. There are many different choices out there and it seems to get more complicated each year. Here are some of the available languages you can start out with. If you're a beginner, I recommend picking a language that's easy to learn, which of course will make your process more enjoyable and less frustrating. This knocks out the C languages, which while powerful have quite the steep learning curve. Next, consider what you want to achieve with programming. If your goal is to make mobile apps, then pick Swift, Kotlin or Flutter. These are fantastic languages for that purpose, but they might be too specialized for a beginner, so let's knock those out too. Now let's talk about JavaScript, CSS and HTML. These are the backbone of web development, so if your primary goal is the web, then start with these. But if you're not particularly interested in the web, or just aren't sure where to begin, then I always recommend Python. It's the first programming language I learned, is easy to get started with, and is actually fun to use. It can be used for app and web development, data to science, artificial intelligence, and so on. To learn Python, I recommend using books, which are better than you might think, but may be outdated. You can also use free YouTube courses, such as this one by Free Code Camp that I like. But if you're looking for the fastest way, then check out the Bomaniac Python course link below. By choosing Python, I probably triggered half of the programming community, so I will now go hide underneath a rock where the web developers won't even look for me. 